Hello and welcome to my video that I'm doing for Ruvi and La Vuelta. I am just sitting here, I've literally just registered for the event. So today's Wednesday and the event is on Sunday. I'm on my off season so I'm a little bit afraid. Just gonna try and enjoy it. The event is quite unique in the fact that I will be riding up the same climb that the pros are actually going to do on Sunday. I've had a look at the climb. It was like average 10%, max 22%, and it's about an hour long. We'll just see what happens. Not really feeling so confident. But this is the stage I'm going to be doing on Sunday. La Vuelta stage 12, Alto de Langliru. It is Saturday now, the day before the race, and I'm about to go and clean my bike, so I said I would bring you along with me, show you how I clean it and what I use. Um, just as a, a disclaimer, Niels usually does this for me. I'm really bad at cleaning my bike. <laughs> so, me and Blue are about to go outside and clean my bike, aren't we, Blue? Hmm. She's so cute. So as I said previously, I am on my off season, so my bike is dirty. I haven't cleaned it since my last race, and the tires have gone flat, and it's just covered in mud, so it desperately needs a clean. Lovely clean chain and a clean bike. So it is four hours to go until the race now. Niels is just back from work and uh, we're discussing what time I will do against the pros. So I'm going to actually look it up on Strava now and see what time is the best time for the pros so far. So I've just gone onto Strava to see the times. So maybe I can set myself a goal for this evening. This has been set back in 2017 by Crosswick. I'm gonna go onto the women. So we see here, all of these women, the fastest time is an hour and five minutes. I think I'm going to aim for about an hour and 10 minutes um, or an hour and 15 minutes maybe because I'm probably not that fit at the moment anyway considering I'm on my off season. So the fastest men's time is 45 minutes um, and I said to Niels that I'll probably be double that but he said if I did that I'd be standing still so I'm hoping then I can do it in an hour and 10 or an hour and five. We're an hour and 15, about that time. So I'm just getting ready to start La Vuelta Alto de Langleru. So I'm on the start line there, if you can see in the background. Um, but I said I would show you my setup, my indoor training setup quickly. So as you can see, I'm going to be riding on a Wahoo kicker. I've got my Cipollini NK1K on it. And I've got my screen in front of me. So ready for some pain the most important part, the headwind. Thank God for fans. I'm gonna win it. <laughs> Maybe I'll be too confident in the beginning. I can't even talk. That was 
so hard. I can feel my heart beat in my teeth. So I'm happy with that. 103 finish. And I said I was going for an hour and five or an hour and ten. Well, that is a good look. That was so hard. My legs are shaking. I've just come downstairs to try and recover. So I've actually just been on Strava looking at um, Sepp Kuss's Strava file for today because they obviously climbed the Alto de Langleru in the Vuelta and wait till I show you. So this is Sepp Kuss's file for the Alto de Langleru and he did it in 44.22. Wow, I was only 20 minutes slower. So that means I'm 20 minutes slower than the best male pros. So I'd be interested to know what time a female pro would do it in, but I couldn't see anything for that on Strava. But anyway, I am feeling kind of tired now, so I'm going to have a shower, have a recovery shake, and have something nice for dinner. But thanks for following along on my preparation for the race today, and let me know if you enjoyed watching the video. Bye.